Hello everyone, Ari here. Welcome back. A story coming out of DRC. Uh, recently at the beginning of the week, uh, this clip went viral on social media after villagers in the DRC in a certain village discovered a mountain full of gold. Let me roll for you the clip. They were literally picking gold, just digging it in the soil. Like it was right there. They didn't have to dig so deep. Uh, some of them, you can see them just like washing in the tray just to like look at it. It's like so authentic. It's real gold. So what was interesting, of course, you know, DRC is full of gold and all these minerals. It is a very, very rich country. But what was interesting is that this gold was so easy to get and it was so much that the entire village just came rushing and running to this particular mountain. So uh, this clip went viral and it caught the attention of the DRC government, of course. At this moment, the government has deployed security officials to take control of this particular area and secure it to ensure fair distribution with the locals. So we know DRC is already rich. It is the world's leading producer of cobalt and also has a lot of copper. But all minerals are in the DRC. Name each and every mineral. It You'll find it in DRC, be it rubies, be it diamonds, be it whatever. It's all in the Congo. So I believe that is why Congo is, yes, very rich, but also very, very unstable. Everyone is interested in the Congo because it is a rich country. Leave alone the minerals, even the timber itself, because it's full of like these rainforests. It's a very huge country. So I just thought I'd share this interesting story with you guys. Very rich, but very poor at the same time, you know, because you just can't let it be because everyone wants to take a part of the share. So if it stabilizes and become a normal country, very many huge companies or organizations that benefit from the from the insurgency, you know, from the instability of the country. Because if the country is unstable, there is a lot that you can do there. You know, there is a lot that you can take away from there just in the middle of that instability. So personally, I do believe that's the reason why Congo has always, always been unstable because it is a way for whoever is interested in the Congo and taking all those minerals from there. That's how they do it best, you know, the country is unstable. But I just thought it's an interesting clip to share with you guys to show you how Congo, how rich Congo is. I believe you already know, but this shows you like, oh my God, this is just crazy. <laughs> how do you just be picking gold like this? Like, is this real, you know? I share your thoughts and let us know what you think in the comment section. I check out my YouTube channel, Ray Kimbabazi, my Twitter and Instagram, and see you on the next story.